Now, we move on to 3 p.m. Eastern Time, and this would be the Music City Bowl. Tennessee favored by six over Purdue. Let's go ahead and get the the bowl gifts out of the way. So these are the ones that really drive me insane. This is at Nissan Stadium. It's Titan Stadium in Nashville. This is a gift suite. Really, a gift suite. This is what they get, and it's a bunch of different stuff, probably gift cards and different doodads, a jacket uh, from the bowl, etc. Cetera, et cetera. I, I hate the gift suite. I really do. Just uh, give them some good things if they're going to come play in your bowl game. Uh, Purdue will be out with uh, George Karloftis and uh, David Bell, uh, among maybe a couple of others, but who knows. Tennessee, Tyon Evans is transferring. He did not play much down the stretch, was dealing with an injury. Uh, Cade Mays, I believe, was just recently announced that he will not be playing in this game either, the offensive lineman. Uh, this just seems like too many points. This line opened up Purdue as a three-point favorite. It switched all the way back to Tennessee as a six-point favorite. That's a nine-point swing. Now, we have seen this with Western Michigan and Nevada. The difference is that Nevada was losing almost their entire coaching staff, their NFL-caliber quarterback, a bunch of receivers, just a bunch of dudes, right? So it made sense that Western Michigan would then be favored, and they did. They stomped Nevada for sure. Purdue, they're not really losing anybody other than those two key guys, and you've still got your quarterback, Caden O'Connell. You've still got a bunch of other people. I kind of like Purdue in this spot. Purdue plus six seems like, now we have seen Purdue in the Music City Bowl before, and Auburn beat them to a pulp just a few years ago. Uh, Gus Malzahn had fired his offensive coordinator. He took over the play calling, and there was just a lot that went the direction of Auburn there. But I, I kind of like Purdue to cover the six here. I think it's going to be a tighter ball game than most would realize. Purdue has been really good this year, really good. And one thing that they are certainly good at is throwing the football, and Tennessee is not very good at defending it. So I would expect that Purdue keeps this game close. It might even win the game outright, but Purdue plus six looks like a pretty good line to me. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.